Hello, beautiful souls. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. I know I have to take some time off. I have just had so many downloads and so many things I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm trying to work and get them done. But at the same time, I've been missing you guys. And I'm going to go back to the card reading. But sometimes I just have to take time off because I have other things that I am supposed to complete. You know, like 2023 is. I hope everybody's doing well and accomplishing their goals and doing what they're supposed to be doing and stepping in their light. Make sure that you're being a light wherever you are and you're staying bright at all times. So I just wanted to do a card reading of... The night was well, night. I don't know what time it is, where you're at, but whenever you're watching this, wherever you're at, and whatever the time is, I just want to give you some messages. We're going to be doing an oracle reading on what they want you to know at this time, your spirit guides, spirit, all that good stuff. And I want to take the time out to say thank you so much. I have a little over 300 subscribers. Yes, and I just wanted to come on here and say that personally. I didn't want to just do a card reading and just be like, hey, thanks for 300 plus subscribers. No, thank, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my content. I want to thank each and one of you guys for just supporting me and being interested in the things that I create and liking them, responding to them. Every view counts. Every comment does matter. I don't necessarily have to, um, I just feel, it just feels great. It feels great to be loved and appreciated. And I just want to take the time out and say, I love and appreciate you guys too. Ooh. All right. Well, these are out. All right. So first card reading, clear, cancel, and release. So I, I know I have been releasing just all that negative, all that negative nonsense stuff that you was holding on to let it go clear cancel and release so whatever i hope that your year is going great i hope that you are slowly or you have released everything that you're supposed to now some of this take what resonates leave what doesn't not all these messages are for every single body every single person but if it relates to you please like comment subscribe but let your, uh, you need to say the affirmation, my spirit team is on standby. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper, right? I got this. I am moving forward. That's what they want you to know. Another one is for someone in there, take a step back. If you feel like you're not going where you need to be, take a look at the situation. Did you overreact? Some of you may have been fast to react and sometimes being quiet is the best answer for you because it can put you in a place where it makes it look like it is your fault and it's actually making you look like please don't be insulted or triggered but it makes you actually look less of a person than what you are you are you are well respected and you don't want people to lower your standards, um, lower their standards on how they feel or think about you. And I know sometimes people may be triggering you or trying to test you or make you come out of pocket. But you are too high and mighty for that. Do not stoop to their level. While you are up here, that person is down here. And they're trying to bring you down to this energy where they're at. And you are above and beyond that. So Spirit's just letting you know, take a step back. And if you need to regroup, get yourself together. I don't know if it's sage, get you a crystal or spend time in prayer meditation or journal that mess out. But you are too good to be dealing with that. Like sometimes leave the trash where it's at. That's just, just what I'm saying. Sometimes you're a diamond. You can't hang with trash. It is what it is. So let's see what else the cards are saying for today. You like it this message so far? Go ahead and give it a like. If you know somebody who likes these messages during the day, please feel free. Okay, no, this one's not coming out. These ones aren't coming out. Next one is answer. If you've been worrying about something, the answer is no. 
go about your business, leave that where it's at. That door is closed. That is not for you. You have something better in store. Uh, what is it? I hear don't chase, attract. So leave that alone. That's just not for you. And sometimes, you know, we want things that we can't have. We all do that. But sometimes it's for the greater good. So leave that door closed. Go about your way. You are too good. Don't don't sink to this that level. You're too good for that. Something else is better in store. You know, have you ever seen that meme where God has that big bear behind his back, but the little girl's holding on to the little small bear? I'm like, oh, but I, I don't want to let it go. No, because they got something else better for you in store. So leave that. Leave that alone. You know if this resonates with you or not, you are too good for that person or that situation. It's just going to bring you down and you are elevating right now at this time. Let's just say I stay elevated at all times. Okay, let's see what else we got going on. I think there's another card here too. Spirit Guide is watching over you. Spirit watches over everybody. But I'm just saying, like, right now is a special time because you're being in tune with your spiritual side right now. And the spring is coming. You got Passover if you celebrate that. Some of you don't celebrate that. But you are getting in touch with your spiritual side. Or you're feeling the need to be in touch with your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels at this time. And that is, that's good for your soul. And even if you feel like, hey, I've been going through so much. Sometimes things happen to you because you get off the road that you were supposed to be on. And that road is supposed to put you over here or back with your spirit team because you've been off. And they can't help you while you're over there. They're watching over you. But you're not, your your blessings are over here, right? Your your blessings are on Miracle Street. Your your spirit, your, your blessings aren't on, um... For example, on Fashion Street, okay? They're not. They're on Miracle Street. So you, they need, they're, they're trying to get you back on Miracle Street. So, like I said, this door over here might be closing, but they are trying to get you back over here in touch with your spirit guides. And it's not like you really forgot about them. Sometimes we just get sidetracked because we're looking at all the shiny, fancy things and the tempting and the fine-looking things over here. But really, all that fine-looking stuff is just, it's just looks because it's really no good for you on the inside all right let's see what else we got all right manifestation so whatever you feel that you your your talent is or where you're led to be do it if that is for your highest good then do it and if you're not sure how to walk in the steps and get where you need to you just need to act like you're already doing it start practicing start walking in faith like you're doing it like me for example you know before i was just doing the hand cards on here and not showing my face but you know what i have i i don't know how to say it but my calling i guess you want to say is to get in touch with people I am, my purpose now is to talk with other people. My purpose is now to get with the, um, find my own tribe. My purpose is to be a light in somebody else's life. My purpose is to make sure that I am motivating other people. My purpose is to make sure that I am living up to my highest potential, right? So they're just like, you know, that you need to work as that you already have it look within don't look to other people sometimes you can't tell other people exactly what you're doing you just have to live in it and they will see by the examples that you are actually doing next one is blessings and abundance now once you get that down blessings and abundance is going to be coming to you you're going to start finding people that you enjoy being around even i hear teacher somebody might like teaching Somebody has extra love to give, like adoption, um, caretaker, just showing love and appreciation for other people. You know where you shine bright at. And even when your light gets dim, don't let it be dim too long. Because 
every time you share your light with somebody, blessings and abundance is going to come to you one way or another. It may not come to you right then and there, but just follow your heart, okay? Because you know what's right. You know what makes your spirit feels at peace and when you feel loved and when you know that you are helping someone else. Remember, we're all sisters and brothers. We should all be loving each other, right? And embracing one another and inspiring one another, okay? Another one here is romance and connection. So, some of you at this time, you know, hey, it's spring, it's summertime. Some of you guys, you know, it may have been a rough year for some of you last year. But, and, you know, I guess you can say like, hey, income tax time or whatever. People, oh, they're in love, they got money, everything is fine and stuff like that. But don't forget, do the inner work. It's not about, oh, we, I, you should never be like, oh, I just love you because uh, materialistic things. Oh, I love you because this person does everything for me. You should love somebody because it's the right thing to do. And remember how you treat people is a, uh, really a reflection on you. But if you're with somebody, just let them know that you love them and appreciate them. If you have broken up with somebody at this time, now it's for you to spend time with yourself and love yourself to heal. Okay, and even if you're meeting somebody because you have a connection that's coming or in the works, make sure that you don't forget who you are. That is the message of today with this one. Don't forget who you are. Just because you have somebody else, you're, you're supposed to be whole before you get with somebody else so they can add to you. Definitely not subtract to you, right? All right, let's see what else we got going on. All right, what's well, so the bottom card? All right, trust the universe. Trust the universe. So if you have been working on a book and you're, you keep saying, oh, I'm going to do this book. Oh, I'm going to do this book. I just don't have time. Some out there, I don't know, it's in the collective and this is you. Please put this in the comment below. This is me. Get that book done. Stop playing. Stop playing. Do you not know how many opportunities you have missed because you haven't put trust in the universe? You, you slip it. You're slipping and you're tripping. The universe wants you to now trust in the universe and do what you feel like doing. As long as it doesn't cause no harm to others or anything like that, walk in your light. Do what you're supposed to do. Remember, we all have skills and talents and special skills. We can't keep that to ourselves. We're supposed to be sharing that with other people, right? It's stingy. Share your gifts. All right, next one is joy and contentment. So whatever you do is going to bring you joy and contentment, right? If that's what makes you happy, do you know how your light is going to shine? You're going to be blinding people left and right. You know, coming on here and talking to you guys makes me feel good. I get up every morning and I think about you guys like, oh, well, I wonder what kind of content I could do today. Well, let me see what I can do better. Um, I've even been trying to improve my Etsy shops on my readings. I try to get people to purchase my readings. You know, sometimes when you walk out on a, on a leap of faith, everything is not right, but I'm walking. I'm taking the steps. Even if I have to take two steps backwards, I'm walking and I'm actually getting stuff done. And I hope that I inspire somebody to just start taking the leap of faith so you can be happy. And if you know that you, if that is bringing light into you and your light is shining, then you're going to be living in joy and contentment. That makes you happy and makes other people happy, right? You're going to have high vibes wherever you go. Okay, let's see. Another one is expect miracles, right? So you already have, let's see where it's at, blessings and abundance, right? Okay, now I can't find the card. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So blessings and abundance and we expect miracles, right? So you just got stuff coming to you left and right, coming to you left and right because you're rocking on your spiritual path, right? And if you're new to all the spirituality stuff, it's okay. We've all gone through a spiritual awakening. Sometimes it's a little rough. It can be a little kind of scary, but you just need to find yourself with people that are similar, that have similar interests that you have. 
And eventually, every, you're going to start attracting these people, these things to you so you can get aligned with where you need to be. Figure out your passions, figure out your life purpose, or live in your purpose, right? So just remember that. But expect miracles. Wake up every day. What's going to happen today? All right, next one is intuition downloads. So dreams, thoughts, messages, numbers, rainbows, butterflies, different animals in your dreams mean different things. Pay attention to this stuff because this is going to actually help you and help you grow. Like right now, um, I was just saying I, I have all these downloads I'm receiving on I gotta make this stuff this is what I need to do this is what I gotta do so I've kind of been I know I've kind of been off of my YouTube channel but it's because I'm receiving all these downloads of things that I'm supposed to get done and guess what it's like I'm tired but I'm not I'm excited about getting this stuff done I just don't know exactly when I'm doing so I'm I'm planning I'm trying to get all my energy to it so listen to your intuition and your downloads and if you're tired Please take care of yourself. Self-care is everything, right? So if you're tired, take a nap. If you're not eating well, make sure that you're eating well. Um, if you need a vacation, take a vacation. Do it when you can. You know you know deep down inside what's best for you. And if you don't, you need to pray about and ask for God to, get, God to give you wisdom on where you need to be and what you should, should be doing. And ask Him for strength and whatever else He thinks that he, you need to have this time with Spirit Guides. Uh, what you need all right next one is this one was confirmation strength and guidance you got it and even if you feel like you you don't have it we all have that within you got to look that within and if you don't know how to find it just like i said you have to pray about it but you have this right here the intuition and the download sometimes can be telling you this is what you need to do Sometimes to find strength, you have to go through rough situations because that's how you, how you figure out what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. I've seen something like that on IG about how they asked God for certain things and they were put through certain situations, but that only made them what he answered their prayers, right? So if he was weak, he had to go through situations, difficult situations to make him strong, right? He asked for wisdom. Well, he had to learn how to figure out problems, right? To become wise. I wish I knew who that was, but I've seen it on somebody else's um, shorts that they had shared. But you have everything you need. Your strength and, and guidance. Okay? And you are protected. So let no weapon form against you shall prosper. Your angel team is right here. Your angel team is guarding you at all times. And you can always ask them, hey, I need some help. Can you can you let me know what I need at this time? Am I work, walking the right path? Um, I talk to my angels all the time. I mean, when I'm looking for stuff, I'm around my room. Hey, angels, can you please help me find this? I, I find it. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I find it later. You know, but they always there. They're there. They are on standby. Same. My angels are always on standby. The answers and the sisters are always on standby. So you are protected. Okay. No energy. No bad energy over here. We ain't. We ain't doing it right. Let me do this as confirmation so you guys can see. No. No bad energy, right? Because we got angelic protection over here. I'm not going to keep this video too long. But I just wanted to come and say thank you so much for the subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And like I said, I am trying to step out of my shell. And I hope that I am motivating you or 